All right, after that marathon video we just released, um, repairing, uh, still here, mega cam right there. Um, I thought we'd do a quick one on uh, sharpening drill bits. I got one, uh, got one down here that's uh, bigger and needs to be sharpened. It's pretty ugly. Uh, and I've got a sterling drill bit sharpener. Uh, you know, this, this thing's been just floating around in storage and they were going to get rid of it. And I brought it down here from the summit. I think that's probably the original tag even. Uh, anyways, uh, it's uh, not got the adjustable head, so I can't select uh, my point angle. I believe that's what's going on here. I'm no expert at this thing. Made by McDonough. This is, uh, let's see if we can figure this out. This is a model DG10213, serial number. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this thing works. Okay, I said that uh, I said that this thing uh, didn't have the ability to adjust the point angle. Uh, this is a bit that it was sharpened on this machine not too long ago. And uh, if I look here, this is the point angle right there. This is sixty. So that's kind of what you get, you know. Uh, the most important thing for me is that this be even, you know. I get both sides cutting at the same time. Uh, and, and this machine does a great job at that. This bit that we got to fix, super flat. Uh, sides are all banged up. I mean, this thing's, this thing's not in good shape. So we're going to end up with this when we're done. Okay, the first thing uh, I got to do is get uh, get this thing set up. Now this drill bit is a 15 16 So what we're going to do is bump this thing into about right there. Okay. Sorry if I move that. Anyways, just one sixteenth before one inch there. Okay, the next thing we got to do is uh, grab this handle right here, and uh, I'll spin this out of the way so you can see what's going on. It's currently set at about uh, half an inch, so we just want to uh, dial that thing into just under one by turning this handle right there. Okay, so now that's good to go. Next thing you'd want to do is uh, is get this. This is the drill guide. This is what uh, you rest your flute on and grind. You want to get this pretty close to the to the wheel as you can as you can. So we loosen that that one right there, and uh, which is kind of bent, falling apart. Bring that in so it's pretty pretty close without hitting. right there and lock him down and this thing's ready to go okay next we want to take our scrappy old drill bit and put it in there so that the flute is resting on this little guide right here uh, and then you can see this gap down here so we just loosen this bring the whole thing up roughly we still have an adjustment down here micro adjustment and we want to get this thing so it's just maybe touching there we go then we'll uh then we'll fire it up
right, this is that uh, scrubby 15 16 drill. Yeah, you can see the relief angle. And the point size. It's sharp. Okay, we've got a chunk of aluminum mounted in, uh, just some, I don't know what it is, just some old scrap piece. And got the drill we just sharpened in there. Spin it up, maybe, uh, I think we're, what are we on? 250 RPM. No pilot drill. Just feeding in. There was a little wobble in that part. It wasn't squared up from the beginning. So it's nothing that's being induced by the drill. Chip coming off the back side. Nice and even chip coming off the back, chip coming off the front. Both flutes are doing work. So that's it. This thing's supposed to be the uh, the most simple, uh, durable, uh, widest range. Uh, this thing can drill or can grind. Uh, a one eighth all the way to two and a half, and you can go up to three inch with some additional adapter thing. Um, this one, this one's probably 35, 40 years old, uh, and it still uh, works like a charm. Uh, I do need, I do need the uh, the diamond dresser component. That's all been gone, lost. Other than that, this thing's pretty solid. There you go. That's what uh, that's what I use for the big drills. I really don't use it down in the eighth inch range, but uh, in the half inch range, yet yeah, we use this thing quite a bit. Uh, and then of course the big the big drills we uh, we grind on this thing. For the little drills, I just replace them. Uh, it doesn't make any sense to me to try and save a, a tiny tiny drill, and I use a lot of that stuff here. Uh, anyways, uh, just a uh, just quick uh, quick video on uh, on what I use to sharpen big drill bits and uh, and a real cool tool uh, if you can find one of these things at auction the company is still around they still make this stuff uh, so if anybody sees my video uh, from from uh, McDonough I think it is that still makes this thing um, I could really use a uh, I could really use a, di a diamond attachment <laughs> anyway uh, like subscribe stay tuned uh, more videos coming